Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the commanding officer, Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, Colonel Jared K. Stone, welcome to the change of command ceremony in which Lieutenant Colonel Michael K. Hayes will relinquish command to Lieutenant Colonel Matthew P. Demean. Today's parade is being executed by the officers and Marines of Headquarters and Headquarters Squadron Marine Corps Air Station Yuma. Please rise with the invocation by Command Chaplain, Commander Randall K. Potter, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy. Let us pray. Almighty God, we pause before you because it is our Marine Corps tradition to recognize you as our God. When we go into harm's way, we always want to know, Lord, that you are with us to protect us, to guide us, and to cause us to do your will. So, Lord, today in our change of command, we invoke your presence upon us. I pray that you would keep us safe from the Yuma summer sun. And then, Lord, I pray that you would cause us to see your way and your will in our lives. We ask that as Commander Lieutenant Colonel Hayes departs us, that you indeed would protect him. Lord, that you would give him the graces ahead of prosperity, and may all of his days honor you. We ask that you would watch over his family, give them as well good health and prosperity. And then, Lord, for Lieutenant Colonel Deneen, Lord, you have sent him our way. We ask, Lord, as the scripture commands us, if any of us lacks wisdom, let him ask of God who gives liberally to all who ask. And Lord, for our new leading officer, we ask wisdom. I ask that you would show him not the world's wisdom, Lord, but your wisdom, an understanding of how you do business so that he would lead us wisely and with purpose. We as well ask blessings upon his family. Lord, you are here with us. We honor you as is our tradition, and we pray all of this in your holy name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Present day parades in the Marine Corps have their basis in both history and tradition. The mass formation of truth on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from the muzzle-loaded muskets of the past. The adjutant forms the line of battle, and in those early days, that line consisted of two or three ranks, much like in the parade you will see today. The adjutant for today's parade is First Lieutenant Mary Catherine Cox. The marching units are now being called to attention and the adjutant's command, sound a captain's call, will begin today's ceremony.
order to get them into their exact position for the parade. Ladies and gentlemen, please stay.
Now taking his position in the reviewing area is the commanding officer, headquarters and headquarters squadron, Marine Corps Air Station Lima, Lieutenant Colonel Michael K. Hayes. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the ceremony's most solemn moment, the actual passing of command. The battle colors of the Marine Corps unit symbolize the authority and accountability of command. Transferring the colors during the ceremony symbolizes the relinquishing of command by Lieutenant Colonel Michael K. By accepting the colors, Lieutenant Colonel Matthew P. Deneen accepts command and confirms his total commitment to the Marines and sailors that he will command. Sergeant Major Walter B. Rose is delivering the colors to the commanding officer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the passing of the colors. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Lieutenant Colonel Michael K. Hayes. Subject, relinquishment of command. Effective 0900, 3 July 2024, you stand relieved of your duties as the commanding officer, headquarters and headquarters squadron, Marine Corps Air Station Lima. Signed, Eric Eric Smith, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Lieutenant Colonel Matthew P. Deneen. Subject, Assumption of Command, Effective 0901, 3 July 2024, you will assume duties as the commanding officer, headquarters and headquarters squadron, Marine Corps Air Station Yuma. Signed, Eric N. Smith, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Please check it out, all right guys? Welcome, fellow commanders, families, friends. It's a great day today. 
I'm super excited to be here. It's an amazing opportunity to pass off with a phenomenal squadron from a great commander to one who I have been assured by many people in your community who have reached out that you were the best thing that could have happened to this place coming in and your family. So welcome aboard, yes. Um, for all of you here, some of the Marines probably know this, but some of the families probably don't. The fact that these guys were selected to command as lieutenant colonels is incredible. It's a testament to who they are as Marines and leaders and pilots. It is the most selective board in the Marine Corps. Slated for O5 Command is the hardest thing that you can do in this organization, and just that achievement alone really speaks to who they are. So let's talk about pilots for a minute. We all start out kind of the same. We go to flight school, we go down kind of the same path, and then eventually it starts to diverge, right? We go towards whatever the type model series aircraft is that we're gonna fly, we think for the rest of our career, we really learn it and we become experts. Right if you're Ira, you wind up flying Harriers. If you're Ninja, you go the C 53 route, and you spend a lot of time in squadrons. Arguably, by the time you're done with your first tour in a squadron, you kind of know what that community does. You know what that squadron does. You really know what your squadron CO is responsible for, right? So if you're Ira, you get done with a tour at, uh, with the Tomcat. You go to be an instructor at the RAG, and man, I mean, you kind of got it suitcase. You know what you're doing. You go back to your department head in the same community, and boy, by the time you get ready to slate for command, you know what you're doing. You're ready to command the squadron. Nothing that a pilot ever does in their entire career in the Marine Corps in any way, shape, or form prepares them to take over an HMHS. But Ira's done an amazing job. All right. If you don't know, today is also his retirement day. We're not doing his retirement. We're not doing his end of tour award in conjunction with this because Ira didn't want this to be about him. He wanted it to be about the squadron, and because he didn't want to leave the Marines standing out in the heat any longer than we have to, all right? That really speaks to who Ira is as a commander, as a compassionate Marine and leader. And because of that, I will make my remarks really brief as well, but just so you know, taking over an HNHS, there's over 560 Marines and sailors in an HNHS filling over 40 different functions on the air station, 94 different operational specialties. So for a pilot who's been a Harrier guy for his whole career to dive into that and to learn what all of those different jobs do, what all those Marines do, and to be able to successfully lead, I think is a remarkable accomplishment, and I already have done it incredibly well. Minja, get ready to wrap your lips around the fire hose because it's coming your way, brother. I think you're going to do great. I'm excited to have you here. I promised I'll keep my remarks short. We'll talk more about Ira's retirement a little bit later, but I'm very excited to have your family here, and I am very grateful to you guys for uh, giving up Ira for the last two years to the squadron here, and really for 22 years to the, uh, to the Marine Corps, and I'm excited for you to get him back in the house a little bit more and maybe play a few more basketball games. All right, Marines. You look amazing, as always. It's an absolute honor to be here today, and I appreciate you guys standing out there and putting on a phenomenal parade. I was just talking to your CEO's mother-in-law. Every time I see this, it's an emotional experience. No other service does this like we do, and you guys are killing it today, and I appreciate it. The band, thank you for being here. It's just not the same without you, and I appreciate you guys making a trip across the hill to do this for this change of command. It really does mean a lot. I promise not to be brief, so I will. So with that, it is my pleasure to introduce the former commanding officer of HNHS Yuma, Lieutenant Colonel Ira Hayes. All right, good morning, everyone. If I got my protocol right, uh, I'm supposed to highlight uh, Colonel Stone, Colonel Del Pizzo, and as I learned, Brock Cosmo, Port Director of Calexico, uh, as distinguished guests, but in my eyes, everyone's distinguished guests, thank you for being here. So, I'm gonna save my personal thanks for the retirement.
retirement so that I could keep this brief. But I will offer some thanks uh, to those that put the ceremony together. So the band, as always, excellent job. Sergeant Major Rose, the staff, the former DIs that were out here making this ceremony happen. And certainly last but not least, all the Marines of HHS and all the Marines out here in front of you, and then all the Marine sailors and civilians of HHS in attendance here. And one more thing to add, all the Marine sailors and civilians of HHS that are not here right now because they're doing what this squadron does, which is keep the air station running all the time, no matter what. Which, like Colonel Stone spoke about, is what makes this Squadron unique and challenging. So I would I would say that because of that, many of this great responsibility that I know you're going to crush is extremely important. The men and women of this squadron right now they might be here keeping the installation running, but in a future conflict, they're going to be the ones back here protecting our families and us in the installation here or maybe deployed somewhere operating a forward base in not so friendly territory, or attached to a deployed unit and having to prove, as Marines do throughout our history, that every Marine is a rifleman. And those men and women in front of you are exactly those to do that. I was fortunate enough two years ago to take command from a friend of mine, another former Harrier pilot, we've been in the squadron a couple times together. And although, because of that, I had a lot more interaction with him prior to, I can say in a short amount of time, since you were selected and we've been talking, doing turnover, that I'm extremely confident that this command is in the great hands of another friend. So with that, Lieutenant Colonel Green, Commanding Officer of HHS Newman. Thank you, Colonel. Right. I don't know how I can follow that up, so I'll be even quicker. Um, but good morning to everybody. Uh, first off, I just want to thank God. Um, several instances in my life that some may or may not know, it's a very blessing that I'm here walking around today. So, um, past that, the band, everybody give a round of applause for the band. They did a fantastic job. <laughs> the distinguished visitors, Colonel Stone, Mrs. Stone, Colonel Dapuzzo, well, tell them thank you to the 53. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, and then, ultimately, I have friends, they travel all the way across the country. So, Dallas, Ashley, Carson, Dayton, thank you so much for flying all the way out here. Nate, Susanna, it means a ton that you guys were able to come as well. Mom and Dad, hands down, thank you so much. Glad we found you. Um, and then for my family, Colin, Alana, Kaylin, thank you so much for allowing me to do what I do and be gone and busy and on the phone all the time. Um, you guys are amazing kids, and I know you're going to continue to be more amazing out here as we're on our second uh, round in Yuma. And to Lauren, uh, my rock, my best friend, uh, the love of my life. I know it's ups and downs and sideways and curves and flips, but uh, thank you so much for everything you do. We wouldn't be able to do anything as a family without you. And then finally, to the Marines and Sailors of h and HS Yuma, thank you. You guys look amazing. Can I get a round of applause for the Marines, please? And I just want to let you know, I'm excited to be a part of Team Guardians. You guys, I think, performed in Colonel Hayes hit on it a little bit, but you, you guys enable warfighters. You guys are warfighters that are enabling the warfighters of one mess, the Marine Corps, the Joint Staff, the Joint Force, the Coalition Force at the busiest airfield in the United States Marine Corps, if not arguably the DOD. Um, I am here to work for you. I hope that I'll be able to enable your successes mentor, coach, and I hope that I don't let you down. Thank you. And then finally, 
I have a 10 kids. It, I echo, man. Like, I feel like I've been really for a real long time, and it's been absolutely awesome. I'm super stoked that you're not leaving. So, we'll, uh, we'll call it. And I have a phone friend uh, nearby. So, with that, uh, thank you very much. In lieu of flowers, Mrs. Hayes has elected to make a donation to Homeward Bound Animal Rescue, and Mrs. Sunni has elected to make a donation to the Wingman Foundation in honor of Sergeant Adam C. Scholler. Lieutenant Colonel Kameen would like to invite all past commanding officers of Headquarters of Headquarters Squadron, Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, to join him in the reviewing area for the past and review. As a reminder, please rise as the colors pass in front of your position and remain standing for anchors away in the Marine's tent. It is now customary that Marines present and who have served honorably sing the first verse of the hymn.
Sir, this concludes today's parade. Excuse the staff. Aye, aye, sir. Staff, dismissed. Dismissed, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of the commanding officer and Marines of Headquarters and Headquarters Squadron, Marine Corps Air Station Member, thank you for your attendance. Simple for those. At this time, Lieutenant Colonel Deney and Lieutenant Colonel Hayes would like to extend an invitation to join them at the Sonoran Pueblo at 1430 for a reception. Thank you.